Every now and then, we get a story that makes so little sense, there's only one person who can help us figure it out. So please welcome Ronnie Chang. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. This is a golden age in America for con men. From the Oval Office to the Oval Office, they are everywhere. <laughs> but what I'm about to show you has got to be the most elaborate con I've ever seen. Televangelist Jesse Duplantis is hoping to take the word of Jesus to new heights with help from a $54 million private jet. In a video posted to his website last week, he asked his followers for help funding the aircraft. We're believing God for a brand new Falcon 7X so we can go anywhere in the world one stop. This preacher needs a $54 million private jet? Meanwhile, I once did a Kickstarter for a bus pass. I only got 17 bucks and a coupon for my grandmother, right? <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Paul Paul. And if you think you hate this guy now, just wait till you hear his sales pitch. Now, some people believe that preachers shouldn't have jets. I really believe that preachers ought to have e and go on every available voice, every available outlet to get this gospel preached to the world. I really believe that if Jesus was physically on the earth today, he wouldn't be riding a donkey. <laughs> think about that for a minute. Yeah, I thought about it for an hour and it still doesn't make any sense and it wasted an hour, all right? The donkey was the symbol of Jesus' humility. It was the Toyota Camry of its time, right? <laughs> and even if Jesus wouldn't be riding a donkey, do you have to jump straight to private jet? The gap between donkey and private jet is all of transportation, okay? I bet Jesus would be fine taking an Uber or at least <laughs> Or at least an Uber XL, just so he has space to stretch his arms out. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you know. And you want to know the craziest thing about Deacon Dollar Sign saying he needs his followers to buy him a new private jet? He already has a trinity of private planes. I've owned three different jets in my life, and I and used them and just burning them up for the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the very first plane that I purchased for the Lord back in December 1994. Then the second one I, I purchased was in January 2004. The one I'm flying right now, and I've been with, it's been with me 12 years. Now people say, my Lord, can't you go with this one? Yes, but I can't go at one stop. Okay, wait, so you think the message of God is really important, but only with no layovers. <laughs> I need to save these people from hell as long as I don't have to stop over in Cleveland. Please, <laughs> God, no. And Trevor, this is not just one guy, okay? It turns out there's a whole offshoot of American Christianity called the Prosperity Gospel. Duplantis is among a group of televangelists who preach that their wealth is God's will. This preys upon the poorest people that want and need money badly, where they're told if they give money, God's gonna bless them a hundredfold. Duplantis lives in a 35,000 square foot mansion, tax free. Yo, this is the greatest scam ever, okay? Jesus is a better tax haven than the Cayman Islands. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Yeah, next time the IRS comes knocking, I'm gonna tell them I'm not paying because I make jokes for Jesus, okay? <laughs> Mazel tov. And if you're buying the idea that these pastors wanna help the people, just listen to how they feel about the people. Fellow televangelist Kenneth Copeland recently bought a $36 million Gulfstream 5 jet. The two have commiserated about how they can't fly or pray with commercial airline passengers. The world is in such a shape, we can't get there without this. That's right. We've got to have this. We would have the mess that the airlines are in today. You can't manage that today. Right. The, this dope-filled world. Right. And get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. <laughs> A long tube with a bunch of demons? That is not wrong, okay? <laughs> to be fair, these guys might be con artists, but now I get where they're coming from, okay? Because I'm pretty sure if you look up demon in the Bible, you'll see a guy spread out in the middle seat eating a tuna sandwich with his shoes off. <laughs> in fact, getting a long tube with a bunch of demons is pretty much the slogan of Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Ronnie Chang, everybody!